Hello everybody. Uh, so in the previous class we've come across uh, some aspects of English language teaching or ELT in general and how it's been treated or taught across uh, the world uh, and I have mentioned to you that there are two different streams of English language teaching or ELT and the first one was ESL and the other one is EFL. So today uh, we're gonna look into a detailed you know understanding of uh, English as a second language or and of course English as a foreign language. So English as a second language is ESL and English as a foreign language is EFL. So those are the two you know main streams of ELT. So I mentioned ELT is the general term for English language teaching. So under ELT we have two different streams. One is English as a second language that is ESL and the other one is EFL English as a foreign language. So ESL or EFL both it actually defines the methodology and approaches and the different approaches in fact uh, in which the non-native uh, users or learners of English language you know, absorb English as a foreign tongue. How they absorb, how they learn, how the non-natives cope up with uh, you know, what you call uh, uh, learning or acquisition of uh, language, of English language. So th that's the uh, basic idea of uh, ESL and EFL, the methodologies and approaches on how we as non-natives acquire or learn or absorb the styles the rules, the grammar, the you know the, the, the punctuations, the pronunciation, the articulation, and things like that in systematic manner that is called ESL or EFL. You know the aspect in which ESL is taught ESL English as a second language is taught is referred to as teaching English as a foreign language or teaching English to speakers of other languages TEFL and TESOL this we have come, come across the class the, the previous class in fact uh, TEFL and TESOL TEFL is teaching English as a foreign language TEFL T-E-F-L and the second one is TESOL that is teaching English to speakers of other other languages so you might have understand the major difference between TEFL and TESOL uh, TEFL teaching English to English as a foreign language teaching English to speakers of other languages. What's the difference between uh, TEFL and TESOL? Teaching English as a foreign language. When it happens, teaching English as a foreign language. When you stay back in your own country, say for example, we are taking India as an example, wherein you have a, a national language, you have a second language or a mother tongue in fact you have a mother tongue you have a national language you're familiar with the uh, mother tongue you're familiar with the national language it's additional to that if you want to understand if you want to learn a foreign language and that too specifically English then what happens teaching English as a foreign language 
it happens tefl happens or efl happens english as a foreign language happens there remember english as a foreign language happens only when you are in a country where your national language or your you know official language or your mother tongue is not english all right so moving on to the next part english as a second language how it happens teaching as a second language this happens when you travel to an english speaking country as we've discussed in the previous class to you know uk ireland new zealand australia canada united states of america in countries like that where you have english as the official language you went there or you travel to that particular country one of the particular one, one of the countries which i've mentioned right now and there you enroll in one of the language schools currently you are in an english speaking country you have enrolled in a language school there what is happening english as a second language happens the teachers there they will take care of you they will come to you they will approach you with the methodologies and approaches of english as a second language so that's the main difference english as a foreign language means you are in a country where you don't have access to english as an official language or your mother tongue is not english english as a foreign language happens there english as a second language is happening when you are in a native english language speaking country wherein you have the first language or the 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 general language the lingua franca the common language the lingua franca is english and so those are the two different approaches of teaching english in elt english language teaching so elt we came across elt with two branches what is that efl and esl efl is english as a foreign language esl is in english as a second language hope you understood the difference between uh, efl and esl now generally speaking for both these efl and esl you know be it uh, english as a second language or english as a foreign language the training in which english teachers uh, undergo is called tesol training or t e s o l tesol training as we have mentioned before like you know i've uh, mentioned to you about celta by cambridge university and certisol by trinity college london and of course delta and uh, diptisol as well so tesol is actually teaching english to speakers of other languages so both efl and esl comes under speakers of other languages be it an indian who is based in india who wants to learn in english he also is a speaker of other language be it an indian who travels abroad to uk in london and he enrolls to a language school in london and he undergoes you know uh, extensive coaching in english language is also speaker of other language so basically for non natives so tesol happens basically for 
non-natives. It all depends upon, you know, this TESOL happens, ESL or EFL, both happens. Now, basically, you know, uh, it depends largely on your location. Now, if you are in India, it is English as a foreign language. If you're not in India, you travel to one of the English-speaking countries, you are do you are taking a course in English, which is English as a second language. All right, so uh, just go through this idea. Uh, try to understand the difference between ESL and EFL. Uh, we'll discuss about it uh, in detail in the uh, next class. So come up with ideas. Try to uh, uh, do some uh, research work and ponder more into uh, the different aspects, the different methodologies, the different approaches of English language teaching. Thank you so much.